everybody today I'm at West Burt National Arboretum which basically is a park full of trees and this park has got some spectacular um, examples of trees that you certainly wouldn't see normally I've just been looking at some cork trees and some Japanese um, conifers and all, all sorts they are really really beautiful um, and although it's really, really cold, and it is really, really cold and quite wet, um, I am wrapped up in my duvet, <laughs> wearing my snood, snood. <laughs> try and keep me warm. And I'm going to enjoy it despite the weather. That tree there is actually Japanese acers, the red acer and the yellow, green acer now beginning to turn gold. Absolutely stunning. You just glance through the trees here, you can see this beautiful building just sneaky in the distance there. I would guess that might be Westbert School. Seen this beautiful little tree over here. And these lovely little golden heart shaped leaves. Really, really pretty. Um, I've got to see what it is. It is a Cendrophilum japanesium. Cendrophilus japanesium. Whatever that is. It's very pretty. <laughs> Is, this is the Asa Amanium. It's another Japanese maple. Look at the colour of these leaves. They're just so vibrant and beautiful. You could just sit in this and suck in that colour and enjoy it for hours on end. To my eyes, when I look at this, this black pine, it actually is artwork. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at all these shapes and circles and patterns and then the green lichen and moss growing on the... It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You stand at the bottom of this and you look up and... <laughs> you could fall over. <laughs> you definitely could fall over. Finish white beam. Look at those beautiful tufts of lichen just growing on those branches. Really gorgeous. Wow, it's okay, a black spot on this one. I think if you had an arboretum, you'd have to be very careful if you get a diseased tree that it's not going to spread to everything else. And this one's got really bad black spot. So this, these beautiful sort of tobacco yellow leaves, is a shag back hickory. How cool is that? Very unusual shaped leaves. And I can't see why it's called shag barked though. The bark's actually remarkably smooth. But shag bark it is. Cool tree. Douglas fir has got the most amazing worlds in it. 
I don't know if you can see, if you look up closely, it's like the stalactites of the sap dripping down it. It's really very, very cool. You must picture yourself in an underground cavern. And Bakulata from Japan and China and Taiwan. Pretty. Right. That's where your hair. That's good, my hair. Can you see just how many people there are here? Look at this. This is a really cold, windy November Saturday, but the people are out here enjoying the trees. It's magical. Would you like to ride your bike, right? This is a plum leafed pawpaw. Now, obviously, it's got no leaves at the moment, but look at these berries. So, we have a, a tradition in England if there's a really good harvest of berries, it means you're going to have a bloody cold winter. <laughs> you get to see the trees from a different point of view. We're right at the top of the tree instead of the bottom. There's an Atlas cedar. Um, beautiful colour. Smell it as well. You haven't got a smell of vision so you can't smell it but I'll smell it for you. <sighs> it smells great. <laughs> but it's really cool to be up here at the top of the trees. There's loads of people up here walking through um, and seeing the woods from another angle. We peek down through here, look at all these trees, just magnificent. Um, yes, well that was a really lovely uh, afternoon and it's now time to wend our way to our warm little van um, with our hot chocolates to warm your fingers and um, I'll see